Hey everyone, there are so many types of birds in the Amazon. Do you know how many? Thousands. Can you imagine? Now, they all look very different, right? There's a lot of colors, but there's one thing I do want to talk to you about. There. Do you know what that part is called? There, b, b, beak. Can you say beak? Good job. Their beaks are so different. Do you know why? Well, do birds have hands to help them eat? No, they have wings, good. But they can't use their hands to really eat. So it's up to the beak to do all the work. Now, do birds eat the same thing or do you think different birds eat different things? Yeah, they eat different things. So, birds have adapted. They've changed the way they've looked over a long time to help them eat the foods that they want to eat. So, are you ready to learn more? Cool, these birds are so cool. Let's go. Okay, the first one I want to talk to you about is, do you know what type of bird this is? A hummingbird. Can you say hummingbird? Good job. It's because they make a little, little noise. They're very small. Good. And look at that beak. Is it long or short? Good, it's very long. Do you know what hummingbirds eat? They eat nectar from flowers. So, they've developed a long skinny beak so that they can drink the nectar from a flower. It's kind of like a straw. Isn't that super cool? The second type of beak we're going to look at. Do you recognize any of these birds? We have the macaw, good. We also are going to look at a cockatoo, that's that one, and also a parrot. Now, they all have very similar beaks. How do they look? They're shorter than the hummingbird, that's for sure. And they're a little bit wider. Good. Now, they also go down. They have a down curve. And they're, they have a little tip on it. Hmm. Do you know what they eat? Well, I'll tell you. They eat fruit and also seeds. Now, the tip of their beak is sharp so that they can open a piece of fruit, right? Because they don't have nails and they can't use their fingers, so they need something sharp on their beak to help them eat. And it's wide so that they can crack a shell and they can eat some seeds. Really, really cool, huh? Do you know what type of bird this is? A f Good job, a flamingo. A flamingo? has a really special beak. Look at that thing. Huh. It curves down good. But we know it's really special. Is that they use it almost upside down. Look at that. That when they put their head down, the top of their beak becomes the bottom. Now look what's inside their beak. It looks like a brush. They have these little pieces even on their tongue. You know why? It helps remove the water. So they put their beak in the water and they go and they squish the water out through their beak and it leaves out of the sides. But those little pieces like a brush help keep the food that 
they want to eat inside their mouth as the water leaves. It's like using a strainer. It helps keep all the food in their mouth. They like to eat algae, which is the green stuff that you'll see in the water. And also, they eat shrimp and maybe little bugs. When mosquitoes lay eggs and other animals lay eggs in the water and they start to hatch, they almost look like worms. And we call those larvae. Can you say larvae? They also like to eat those. Mmm, that's a good amount of protein. The next bird we're gonna take a look at is, whew, it's very similar in color to the flamingo, good. This is called an ibis. Can you say ibis? Good job. Look at that beak. Is it long or is it short? Good. They're not going out, they're going down and into the mud. These animals like to live in the wetlands, kind of like the flamingos. And they stick that nose into the dirt. It's called a probing beak. And they go boof, and they go inside the dirt and the water to find bugs, insects, and also maybe like a little crab, just like the flamingos. And sure, those foods give them the color of their bodies. How cool is that? So the next one we're gonna look at is, do you remember the name of this bird? It's a Quetzal. Can you say Quetzal? Good job. This bird, a tiny little pea, but it's not as long as the hummingbirds. What do you think they eat? Good ideas, I like your thinking. This bird likes to eat insects and small fruit. So, if you can imagine trying to pick up a small insect or a small piece of fruit, it's kind of like having chopsticks. It needs to be long and thin so it can pick up things, but not too thin, right? And not super, super long, because it doesn't need to be very long like a hummingbird, where a hummingbird needs to reach all the way into a flower. That's a really beautiful bird, isn't it? Do you like the colors? Mm -hmm, beautiful red, green. Look at the beak. Yeah, it's yellow, how cool. Okay, the next two birds are super special. Take a look. Do you recognize one of these birds? Good, that's a toucan. Can you say toucan? Good job. The toucan's beak is small or big? Great job. The other bird is a hornbill. Can you say hornbill? Great job. Now, do the beaks look similar or are they very different? Good, they're very similar, so I'm gonna talk about them at the same time. Now, do you know what toucans eat? Fruit. They love to eat fruit. Now, again, the problem is they don't have hands to help them eat fruit. Huh. So, their bill is super special because it has these little edges on it and it's kind of like a knife. It helps them hold the fruit and it also helps them kind of cut into the fruit so that they can rip it apart and eat it. Isn't that so cool? Yeah, I think these are really cool birds. Now also, their bill is so long. Do you know why? They have to reach. Good. The animals with long beaks like this have to reach out to get around food. Now a toucan likes to eat fruit. And the toucan's not that, that small, is it? No, it's kind of a big bird. So he weighs a lot. He is heavy. And if 
the bird standing on a branch has to hold him. If he steps on a tiny little branch where the fruit is, it might break. So, the bill helps them reach the fruit. It's like having a long arm to pick the fruit from a different branch while they stand on one that can hold them up. Really cool stuff, huh? This last bird is really special. It's called the King Fisher. Like a king. Can you say King Fisher? And what do you think this bird eats? Good fish. So, this beak is designed for aerial fishing. That means that this beak is designed for the bird to fly over the water, and then go down and grab a fish. He goes fishing from the sky. Isn't that really cool? So, it needs to be special, huh? Yeah, it needs to be thin enough to go into the water and pluck out a fish. And it needs to be a little sharp, too. It can't be very wide. Wow, we just learned about so many different types of beaks. Did you know that there were that many different types of beaks? I'm going to tell you one more really cool thing about beaks. Ready? So there's a bone, like our teeth. Those are hard. But, like our nails, birds have a special part on the outside that keeps growing just like our nails so that it stays nice and sharp and it can't wear down. Isn't that super cool? This way, they can always rip through the fruit and they can grab the food that they need to grab. Well, I really hope you liked learning about all the different types of beaks and all the different types of birds that we can find. See you later, friends.